Hello, good morning to one and all. This is Vamshi, and now I am going to explain about uh, a topic in digital image processing, which is image enhancement using histogram statistics. First of all, let us look into basics of an image. Image is nothing but a group of pixels, and each pixels are represented using a particular intensity values. Pixels are represented using RGB scale or any other scale. RGB means red, green, and blues. If we consider image matrix, image matrix, then each image, each element is represented by a pixel value of a finite finite length. Here is a small example, a small fish fish diagram represented in the form of matrix for your better understanding. Now we will be looking into image enhancement. Image enhancement. Normally, when we take pictures using a mobile phone or any other camera, then sometimes due to disturbances. the images may not be captured properly or will be blurred so in order to make a blurred image much more clear we use a, a method called image enhancement which makes it much more clear now we will be looking into histogram a histogram is nothing but a gray scale value distribution showing the frequency of occurrence of each gray level or pixel value here is the picture of a man shooting a photo and its corresponding representation of the pixel values according to their occurrence now we will be looking into histogram statistics and what are histogram statistics histogram statistics statistics are nothing but the parameters involved in an image an image is already as we have previously discussed image can be represented as a matrix of a particular intensity values for time being let us consider a discrete variable r which uh, represents the intensity value in a range of 0 to l minus 1 and p of ri in uh, represents the probability of occurrence of intensity value ri uh, intensity value ri and and to calculate and we can calculate mean median and the mode of a histogram histo of a image using these statistics mean is nothing but average average sum of all observations by number of observations median is nothing but the middle most value mode is nothing but most frequently occurring data as we as i have previously mentioned that an image is represented in the form of matrix and with with each and every element as a particular intensity value as which is which being a number we can calculate mean through the formula m is equal to sigma i is equal to 0 to l minus 1 ri into p of r and the nth moment of the r, r about it mean is defined using the formula mu n and the variance is given by sigma square 1 by mn where m and n represents the dimensions of the matrix of an image f of x comma y minus m whole square where m denotes the mean mean if we calculate mean of an entire Im- an entire image given image then we call it as a global mean and similarly if we calculate the mean, uh, variance of an entire image then we call it as a global variance here for time being let for the simple understanding i have considered a phi cross matrix phi cross phi image of uh, of a pixel intensity values from 0 to 3 as shown in the, in the slide and i have plotted p of r not represent the probability of occurrence of zero in the phi cross phi image which is uh, 8 times out of 25 times similarly for the occurrence of 1 2 and 3 are plotted and the mean is calculated using the formula m is equal to sigma i is equal to 0 to l minus 1 ri p of ri and we will be ca- we will be getting the mean mean value as 1.2 as we have calculated uh, the uh, the mean of the entire image so we call it as global mean or uh, sometimes we also represent it using mg similarly if we calculate uh, variance of an entire image we call it as uh, global variance for example let us consider a small a point uh, in the image matrix at a position x comma y then the x the position x comma y have neighboring positions or a neighborhood and uh, and, the, and each and each neighborhood uh, pick, have some pixel values and these pixel values are formed to form a small uh, matrix which is uh, neighborhood which is called neighborhood matrix neighborhood matrix for time being let us consider a small example and we consider a position uh, 1 comma 1 here which is a uh, zero intensity value and calculate the local 
calculate the neighborhood matrix of zero at a position one comma one, and we will be writing it as one two zero two zero one 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 zero. 110 and if and now we will be calculating the mean of this uh, small matrix neighborhood matrix and we will be computing the small neighborhood matrix mean by using formula sigma uh, sigma i is equal to 0 to to n n uh, r i into p of uh, r i we represent uh, this uh, mean value as msxy which is nothing but uh, this mean represents that it is a local mean local mean local mean is nothing but the mean calculated for a, for the neighborhood matrix of a particular pixel value and we can calculate an, uh, the the local mean for each and every point present in the in the matrix image matrix and image matrix now let us as previously discussed now let us consider uh, consider an example an example here is a small image of the tungsten filament which is magnified almost 300 times at uh, the first image shows the tungsten element which is magnified uh, uh, the 200 200 times the second uh, image uh, is uh, is the result of uh, image enhancement is the image result of using uh, enhanced using a global histogram equalization and the third uh, image uh, is the result of enhancement using uh, local histogram equalization in the third second image when comparing second image and third image we can clearly see that the grid lines in the third image are much more clearly visible when compared to second and first images this is occurred due to local histogram equalization here we will be here we will be considering the first image and we will be dividing the entire image into two classes into lighter area and darker area into lighter area and darker area and to cl classify this entire uh, image into lighter area and darker area we will be considering that we will be calculating the global mean of the entire image entire image and uh, and the local mean of each and every intensity pixel intensity value and we will be comparing with these equations uh, msxy less than or equal to k naught into mg sigma sxy less than or equal to k to into sigma g where uh, mg mg and sigma g represent global uh, global uh, mean and global uh, variance respectively and uh, msxy and uh, sigma sxy represents uh, the local mean and uh, local variance of the of that uh, particular point where k0 and k2 are particular constant if if this if the point satisfies this equation then we consider that point as when we consider that area as darker area if not we consider it as lighter area and for time being we are considering that uh, that uh, we will not be enhancing the lighter part of the image and only be enhancing the darker part of the Im image for better understanding in case if we don't sub classify the image into lighter area and darker area and, uh, and enhance the image using local histogram equalization then as a result the image will be overall enhanced and the, and this is one particular uh, possibility this is the possibility and the occurrence of the ima image I image and the, these are the equations uh, if, if it if it satisfies the condition then the pixel value will be multiplied with a constant of e if not the pixel value will be will be changed unaltered unaltered now we will be showing you the matlab uh, programs for this for this now i will be discussing about the codes in the matlab program for the above discussed slides here i have considered a tungsten filament which is magnified 200 times and i will be applying image enhancement techniques on this image for low global histogram equalization i will be using hist equal function and for uh, local histogram equalization i will be considering an adaptive hist equalization filter with a clip limit of 0.004 and a relic distribution and if we run this program this is the original image of the tungsten filament which is magnified 200 times and uh, and this is the image enhanced image using a global histogram equalization of the tungsten filament tungsten elements and comparing one and two we can see that uh, some parts or some parts are much more uh, given further in detail some parts are uh, 
well the grid lines are also okay we can see some more grid lines added in the image too and compared to previous image this is the third image which is enhanced using local statistics or local histogram equalization here we can see that the grid lines are much more elaborated here what we have done is we have enhanced the image in the darker areas leaving the lighter areas remain unchanged what happens if lighter areas and darker areas are does not remain unchanged then we will be looking into overall local histogram equalization in the, this program explains the overall local histogram equalization local histogram equalization for that we will be considering cold field function with a window size of w by w uh, and if we run this program in, uh, window size of uh, 3 by 3 3 by 3 and a constant value of k with 0 0.4 and if we run this program this is the original image of the tungsten filament which is magnified 200 times and this is the entire uh, image enhancement local is using local histogram equalization where the finest details are also been uh, explained clear in a clear cut way we can observe that the tiny minute details are also uh, represented properly and we can uh, exactly see this image this is why we use uh, a local enhancement uh, so local enhancement process or image image enhancement using local statistics for uh, for elaborating the further details of a blood image or an image so thank you for giving me this opportunity to explain to you